So we, we want to do something super cool, bring in a big wrestling figure to really pump things up this weekend. This guy's been around wrestling for a long time. He's a big face. He's also a three-time Afton Quadrangular Champion. Let's bring on Wesley. Wes Wesley, everybody. How you doing, Wes? I'm doing fine. Red alert. That's too slow. Everybody's too slow. Sir, look at that. Stand up, sir. Stand up. You could drive a train in between where your arms are. You need to get inside positioning right here. Are you a wrestler? I can see why not, sir. All right, so Wes, as we said, it's a big weekend in Iowa City. Olympic trials are here. What are your thoughts on uh, the trials coming up this weekend? Who's going to make the team? What are you excited for? Well, I've been doing 8,000 stand-ups a day. <laughs> and I figure that number should allow me to get into the trials. Uh, I, I've been, I, I mean, I would think that stand-up's a very important move in freestyle wrestling. Uh, I've, been doing, I've also been doing the switch-re-switch -switch drill. I don't have a partner, but I do it by myself. <laughs> So I would, I would, I, I, I'd, 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 that's what I'm saying is I want to be in the tournament. At this point, though, uh, you're not a participant in the 2012 U.S. Olympic Trials. No, no, not at this point. But if anybody knows anybody, they could, that guy's wearing a golf hat. I was wondering maybe, do, do you know anybody in the Vietnam? Do you know anybody? What about that British guy? <laughs> Red alert, sir. That's too slow. The British are too slow. If they, if, sir, the British Olympic team's not going to do very well against the, against the U.S. Olympic team. Believe me, when you meet the Cornish wrestlers, you'll be done for. I don't eat Cornish hens, sir, but I don't know. Does he say something about a Cornish hen? Seeing as we're in Iowa City, big figure here, Dan Gable. How many uh, Big Ten titles and national titles has he won? What are your thoughts on Dan Gable? Dan Gable was one of the greatest. He probably was the greatest wrestler and the greatest wrestling coach ever. He won the Olympic tournament. He also won an, in three, uh, two or three NCAA championships. But he's very good, sir. He never competed in the Afton Quadrangular Tournament. <laughs> So I would have to say he's until he wrestles in that, and I don't think his eligibility is up. I don't think that he could be the. I mean, they should not have put that statue up unless he competed in the Afton Quadrangular Tournament. The Afton Quadrangular Tournament is the toughest tournament in the world. It's the it's the number one tournament. The second toughest is the Tbilisi Tournament, and the third toughest is the the Junior Varsity Division of the Afton Quadrangular. Red alert. <laughs> it's too slow. You're right. It's too slow. I was a three-time champion of the Afton Quadrangular, sir. There's not a statue of me outside of Carver Hawkeye. I can tell you this. I love Coach Gable. I mean, if I have a child, I'm going to name him Coach Gable. But... I'm telling you right now, sir, if, if, my, if they put a statue of me, they, it, I would be in good position. Coach Gable's all like this, and he's got his hands out of position. You, you, he doesn't, he, there's no inside, there's, it's too much space with, on that statue. It makes me sick to walk by it. You shut your mouth about Chip Bunner, sir. I lost one match to Chip Bunner, and that will never happen again. You want to wrestle? I'll go right now with you, sir. I'll go Greco, I'll go Sambo, I'll go Freestyle, we can Sumo, I'll go Top Bottom Out with me and Joe and Bader. It doesn't matter, sir, but you don't bring up Chip Bunner like that. That's you Shut your mouth about Chip Bunner, sir! <laughs> Returning world champion Jordan Burrow sitting out of the tournament, mini tournament at that weight class. Super tough. What are your thoughts, though, uh, on the champ Jordan Burrow's? Well, he's a very good wrestler, Jordan Burroughs. Once again, he's never competed in the Afton Quadrangular Tournament. 
But the thing about that I understand is, Joe, if, if I'm right, the guys that are ranked number one, they don't have to wrestle in the tournament, right? In a couple cases. So they wrestle, they sit out, and then the other guys have to wrestle a full tournament. Just, if it was me, I would wrestle in that tournament just for fun. That's how much I love wrestling. I'll wrestle every one of you. I'll wrestle the British guy. I don't care. I'll wrestle him with the Cornish head. It's where you got terrible positions, sir. Doing this, that's not, you don't do that unless you're Olympic champion. You do that for half a second, then you put them right. I don't know where your legs are going, sir. That looks obscene is what it looks like. I don't know how they wrestle. I don't know how they wrestle in the city of Britain, but that is just it. it look, What's that? What's a country, ma'am? That's what my favorite comedian Yakov Smirnov used to say. He would say, what a country. He's from Russia. Russia's where most of the great wrestling is. Joe, I don't know if I've ever told you this before. What the Russians like to do is the two-on-one tie. Now, they just like to... They sag down right there. You can't... It's a great... It's the best move ever. The two-on-Russian... They call it the Russian tie. I don't know if I've showed you that one, but Joe, that's the Russian tie. Now, myself... I've got, you can't get the Russian two-on-one on me. I have a defense it, that I've patented. Try to get it on me. <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's the greatest defense. Uh, it, it's a, try, that in the, try that in the country. Try, try that out there in Britain, sir. Well, try LD in the crotch. That's illegal. You can't take a knee in the cross, sir. You, that's a, and that's a team point. That's right, Joe. I'll take a team point away from Britain, uh, from both your countries, Britain and the United Kingdom. I'll take and, and I'll, I'll take it away from Great Britain and England, both of them. I'll take it away. Great, Brit, Great Britain will get second, and England will get third. Unfortunately, guys, that uh, Greg. Wes, excuse me, I think the guys over you say wrestling agree with me. There's not, we don't see too many headgears in international competition. That's why I don't like wrestling in international level. It's because they don't protect themselves. They don't have headgear. It's it's, it, Jason Bryan is over there. He's with USA Wrestling. Woo! Jason, correct me if I'm wrong, but the reason that there's not headgear in international wrestling is a lot of the poor countries can't afford headgear, so we just decide not to have headgear. A lot, a lot of the dirt poor countries, like for instance Great Britain or England, they can't afford they can't afford the headgear, so we don't have it. I'd like to raise money. I'd like to do a fundraiser. We could have in in my high school. We had a bake sale and we sold candy bars, and sometimes we gave a, a, a part of the concessions, and we could just take that money. That guy's got a dollar right there. He's willing to give it. He's willing to buy headgear for the dirt poor country of Great Britain. If we only could get thousand more of those dollars, we could have headgear, and that way wrestlers all over the world could protect their ears. <laughs> Wes, throughout your wrestling career, super successful wrestling careers, any other wrestling athletes you looked up to? Uh, mostly, I looked up to Yakov Smirnov because he was Russian, <laughs> and Dan Gable. Even though I don't like the way his statues built. And I can't think of any. I like that guy. Uh, I like that guy shooting in the movie Vision Quest because he carried a tree. And I think that's it. Joe, I don't look up to anybody. I look them straight in the eye like I do. I don't look down at anybody. I don't look up at anybody. I look at everybody as a potential opponent. <laughs> That's fast. You can't get. You can't get it. There's no space. There's no space. There's no space. No. Get that on film, Bader. Get that on film. Put that on film, and you can ship that over to the country of Great Britain and teach those guys how to wrestle, and we'll give them some headgear. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. One more time for my good friend Joe and my good friend Bader and the guys at Pro Wrestling. Red alert!